simple linear regression analysis. I'll be using this interesting example uh, where I thought that the marathon completion time uh, will be significantly related to age, meaning that as you go grow older, um, you might take longer time completing a marathon or a half marathon. Last year, I did the analysis using the full marathon. I'll post it in another video. This is the half marathon result from 2019. You can download the result from here. And then uh, I have already copied the data in Minitab here, and I'm going to show you the steps, how to analyze it in Minitab, also how to explain all the output. So you can go to a stat, regression, regression fit model, uh, just basically, I just did it, that's why it's stored here. So basically click here, response, the time in minute, and then the is is my predictor variable. I'll keep everything simple, hit OK. Um, so the when you do that, the minute will produce four tables. And it's difficult to see here, so I copied this four table here in the PowerPoint. So this is the table number one. I call it a step number one in regression analysis, the analysis of variance table. So this age, uh, when you see the p-value less than 0 0.05, meaning that it is significant. So age has a significant effect on marathon completion time, half marathon completion time in this case. This is the only conclusion you can make from ANOVA table. You cannot say whether is, um, the, the completion time increases or decreases by age. You can only say, yes, there is an effect. Uh, and then next, you have this step number two, which is the model summary. Now, all this output came from Minitab, the procedure I performed that I showed you before. You can go back to the video and check how to produce this. Now, the R square value, which is the most important thing in any regression analysis, the explanation or definition for R square is the amount of variation in the Y explained by X. In this case, the amount of variation in the half marathon completion time can be explained by age. So you can see here, age can only explain 6.6% variation in half marathon completion time. And then 93% it cannot explain. You know, probably the nutrition, the exercise, the training they do before it. So we don't know. We haven't studied that. So all we can say, yes, as was significant based on the ANOVA table, step number one. However, it only explained about 7%, which is nothing. So from here, I will conclude that is is not a predictor for marathon completion time. So that will be our final conclusion for this regression analysis. Now, if you, and the next step is basically analyze the coefficient. In this case, it doesn't make sense because there is no relationship. However, let's say you got a very good R square value, 90%, then you go to the next step in the coefficient discussion. So you can see here that if the age increases by one, the marathon completion time in minute increases by 0.5. So every year you go older, you take 30 seconds more to complete the half marathon. Now in the next step, final step is the diagnostic for the um, analysis. Um, so basically you see, is there any outlier influential points? Minitab will automatically produce it for you. Um, and then after you see that, then you delete those points and rerun the analysis. Um, you probably have to do this one first, even though it's step number four. However, without running the analysis, you don't have the fit value, residual value, studentized residual value, so you don't have any of this if you don't run it. So you kind of go back to the step number one and rerun the analysis and then explain it. Now I did that, didn't really change anything. Now to understand the um, more about diagnostic was a little bit more uh, involved than uh, so you can go to the openeducator.com regression analysis you can check this video on linear regression diagnostic to understand diagnostic a little bit better